it's time that I have another, enough stuff going here um, that we need to kind of make things play well with one another. Um, I think uh, individual elements, uh, meaning um, drums, bass, guitar, kind of have their shape and have some vibe going. Uh, but when I bring things up, like um, not everything is cutting the way it needs to. And that's kind of a process that um, just you kind of work on as you go. You know, you, you carve out spots for other instruments. And um, it may get a little unstructured here because I don't really, that's a part of my process that I couldn't really like uh, pin down or um, specify exactly. It's just, it just kind of happens, you know, when you get to a point where you just, you start bouncing around and doing what needs to be done. So I do want to dig into that a little bit. I also want to um, pull up uh, an instance of Magic AB, which is a plugin that I use to check to compare with references. Excuse me. There's a new one. There's a new plugin that looks amazing. That's like uh, that on steroids. It has a very similar name. It's a plugin alliance plugin, but it's really expensive. I was hoping it would go on sale for for. Uh, that Black Friday weekend, but it did not. It's like 200 bucks or something close to that, which is tough to drop on something that doesn't actually affect audio. But for now, I do love Magic AB, and uh, I used to just have like a Winamp playlist, and I would export and then drop it in and compare some stuff. Uh, but being able to put that on like a post fader insert on your on your mix bus and uh, compare directly right in your session is pretty awesome. So why don't we actually start with that? And uh, I'll show you some of the references that I had. I actually just right now copied over um, my references folder from the original Archspire session. I don't even remember. I haven't looked in it. I don't remember what they were. So we'll see what, what those were and maybe pull a few of them up. Mergic. Mergic AB. It is. It is <laughs> yeah. So I... Uh, generally save this last spot for whatever my previous version of the mix was, which in this case was the final mix, which is sort of unfair to me right now because I'm, because typically there would be small differences, you know, between these. Uh, so, uh, nope, let's see, where do we go here and uh, there and here. These are all the test mixes that I did as I was mixing um, the, the, doing the original mix. Maybe I should play some of these. That could be embarrassing. And here's my references folder. What do I have? A lot of this is stuff, just stuff that I've done. Um, uh, I'm, uh, if it's a band that has a previous album, I'm always gonna load up a song from their previous album. Or if they have multiple albums and one sounds really good, I'm gonna load up that one and then uh, I will not allow myself to be done with the mix until it sounds better, in my opinion. Because what is the point of having, uh, you know, inviting a band into your studio and then giving them an inferior product compared to something you've had before? So I would make sure, in my opinion, and that would be, I'm not sure exactly who worked on this album, and it, that's not a dig on them by any means, but that is my job. They're literally hiring me to um, give them a, a product that can help them push their band further. So. If I'm not cut, cutting it, then that means I have more work to do. Um, so let's load up that. Um, but I, don't, I didn't want to put you there. That's a special spot. I'll put you here, uh, there. Uh, this is the cattle song that I did. Uh, I know it was one of the reasons why the band came to me, because they like this album. So I'm going to bring that in. Um, let's go to this next row and load up uh, some references that are uh, Yen's mixes, <laughs> which are pretty much all of my references. This is one of my absolute favorite albums. It's very different uh, from Archbuyer, this ens uh, Enslaved album, but Enslaved is a top five band for me, um, hands down. And this mix in particular, and this song in particular, sound goddamn amazing. Um, this is another Yen's mix. It actually sounds very different. It's not super applicable, but I do like this band a lot. And uh, the drummer, David, is a friend of mine. And my girlfriend and I had coffee with him and his wife in Norway a year ago and had a very pleasurable evening. So, hello, David. I don't know if he watches, but 
he's a man and a crazy good drummer if you're familiar with Extol. Um, let's see, what he's else? Not watching, bro. He's not watching. He's yeah, know. he's probably not watching. He does do studio stuff though. Um, what else? I don't know if really any of this stuff is any of this other stuff is super necessary. Um, these are both. Um, albums I've done, but were just maybe kind of, I'll, I'll load up some references of things that I've done recently that I was happy with, and uh, also just kind of what I'm listening to at the time. So uh, let's pull these down. These are obviously going to be mastered mixes, so I will play my mix and just kind of level match this a bit um, using the visuals here. That way uh, I don't give Nick a heart attack and completely blow everyone's speakers on their computers and stuff like that. Uh... Very Christian, Exel is, um, which I have to personally listen through a little bit because I am not. Uh, but uh, other than that aspect, they're a super killer band. not super applicable very a very different mix it's going to be bass heavier it's going to be thicker drums it's going to be a less pokey um but i know it sounds good and um someone may listen to this album and then put on our spire so uh, you know they have to they have to be in the same ballpark they have, everything has to, has to be able to play well together it can't sound terrible in comparison um similar with enslaved this is another it's like it's a darker mix really thicker drums Slave just as shit. Uh, this is Reacher, and that's the name of the album. Actually, is Reacher. It's like two albums ago. If you haven't heard like the last period of Enslaved, man, it's incredible stuff. I would definitely classify it as progressive, but with still their black metal roots, and it is mind blowing. It takes you on a journey. Um, the band that we're nailing the mix of tomorrow, Chemist, just toured with Enslaved on the Decibel tour in 2018. And, and I um, took what was a vacation for me and met them in Vancouver. Coincidentally hung out with the Archbuyer dudes at the first night of the tour in Vancouver. And then I finished the last week of the tour with them um, and watched and slave for like six nights in a row. And also saw my dudes and chemists crush it six nights in a row. And it was an, an, a really fun experience and um, one that I will always remember and cherish. Well, I'd like to remember what the name of that Enslaved album is because I can't find it. Reacher. R-I-I-T-I-I-R. Oh, I thought you were saying Reacher. It was Reacher. Like no. Reacher. Around. Reacher. Yeah, it's a made-up okay. word. Yeah, it's a made-up word. Okay. But that one and the one before it. Reader. Re Reader. Reader. <laughs> Reader. All right. Uh, the new one is also good, but this one and the one before it have crazy good mixes, like the air around the drums. And I watched the Yens Nail the Mix recently, and I'm going to... It's enough to, to implore me to kind of play around with some um, parallel compression on drum bus stuff. And I'm generally uh, averse to parallel compression because it, I just, the routing makes me uncomfortable. But if that's how he's getting these sounds or a part of it, then I need to play with it. Because uh, so it's enslaved as a Yens Mix? Yep. God, it he's is. done a lot of good work. It very is, yeah. Uh, this that XL is too. Both of those were. Um, here's one of my mixes. It's okay too, guys. Um, no, this is the Archbuyer album. I clicked the wrong thing. This is the one they did. Um, the, the album right before um, the one the one that we're working on now. And then uh, one of my favorite cattle songs. OK, 
Okay, now at this point, I'm not expecting it to really match up to these, and I'm a little nervous. I usually, when I, when I first start comparing my mixes to these, I make sure no one's around. <laughs> uh, but let's see what it sounds like uh, in comparison. I'm hearing a lot of stuff in the bottom end that needs to fill out. I'm hearing some papery stuff in the mids. A guitar sound a little papery to me. Um, by papery, I mean just kind of scratchy, not wide and rich sounding. Um, let's load up uh, a f uh, final. This is probably close to a final. Do I have the final? Hey, Nick, uh, pull off my screen for just one second so I can go digging around. Did you do it or did you not do it, you jerk? I zoomed in. <laughs> yeah. He said he's zoomed in. Yeah, Classic. Zoomed in. Classic right Nick. Um, he actually zoomed in on this document that says passports. <laughs> pan, passports and passwords. Something says social security. Yeah. <laughs> he found that folder and zoomed in on it. Yeah. I'm sure you You did. just can't see it because it's so zoomed in. Sure you did. Uh, remote. That's what we're doing, right? Remote. Yeah. Um, so let's load up the final mix of this. Okay, you can um, unzoom from my social security number now and re and return to the session. Oh, really, we're not that far off. Um, which is not, no surprise, we're working with the same source files, so I would, I would be pretty impressed with myself if it sounded wildly different. But uh, that's pretty cool, because in just like, what, five or so hours that we've been doing this, five or six hours, mm -hmm. uh, we're getting pretty close, which, gotta say, I was a little nervous, guys. <laughs> but uh, we're, we're pulling it off.